Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your third SAS tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about SAS variables. Wow. Okay then dude, so before I talk about any SAS whatsoever, I just want to quickly go through what I've already created in these core files. And the first thing is this index.html file. And this is pretty simple guys. You'll notice two things first of all, I've linked up the reset.css in the head and then the styles.css. And remember, this is where we're outputting all of our SAS to this styles.css file, okay? Now, this reset.css file is just some really basic styles, styling the body, um, some basic element styles, taking the margin and padding off them, things like that. And then as well as that, we have this class of wrapper, which I've created, which is just kind of centralizing all the content on the middle of the page. So, currently, our web page is looking something like this, rather dashing, wouldn't you agree? Okay, so we're gonna style this bad boy up throughout this course, and uh, the HTML is dead simple. We've got a header right here, which contains the navigation, which is this dude at the top right here. Then we've got this lead banner section, which is all of this junk here, and then down here we've got a section with an ID of services, which is these three icons here. Uh, below that we have this section, um, which is the lessons banner, which is going to be here. Um, and then finally we have a project section, which is all this kind of stuff here. Okay, so we're just going to keep it simple to begin with. And we're going to talk about variables in SAS. Now, these are one of the really simple but really cool features of SAS. And uh, they make our life a lot easier. The first thing I'm going to do is get rid of all this junk right here and we're gonna create some variables. So, say for example, we have a color that we use a lot on our web page, right? Then instead of trying to remember the hex code for that color all the time, and I'm constantly doing that, I'm searching through previous CSS, I've written to look for that hex code to use it again. Instead of that, we can just store that hex code in a variable. Okay, so I could do something like this. I'm gonna create a little comment first of all. And by the way, we can do this two slash comment thing in SAS. We don't have to do the slash and then asterisk and then uh, the asterisk and slash to close it. We can do a single line comment in SAS using those two uh, forward slashes, okay? So I'm gonna create a comment right here called variables. So how do we create these variables? Well, the only thing we need to do is just say, the variable name and we precede that with a dollar sign. Okay, so all variables are preceded with a dollar sign. And then we give our variable a name. So I'm gonna create a variable to store a color in and I'm gonna call this color deep blue. And it's gonna be camel case, all right? And then you do a colon and then you set that to whatever color you want. Now the hex code I want is 032F3E, all right? And then we put a semicolon. There we go, my friends, that's a variable. How simple is that? So now we can call upon this variable when, uh, whenever we want to use it. So, say for example, I wanna use this in my styles. All I need to do is come down here and I'm gonna go after this, which has an ID of main nav. So I'm gonna grab that, copy it, cause I'm extremely lazy, put a hash and then go after that style, okay? Now I can say background, and instead of putting this thing right here, I can just call this variable, which is deep, Blue, and it's going to recognize that now in Atom because it's already recognized, hey, I've created a variable called deep blue, so I'm going to help you out and uh, remind you what it's called as well. So that's really cool. So now if I save this, you're going to notice this thing right here. First of all, we get that compiled successfully message. And now it's output to the styles, this color here in the background. Okay. So SAS has recognized this variable replaced it with this, compiled that to CSS. So in CSS, we don't see this, we see this instead. And now that's output to the screen. Pretty cool, right? So as well as storing colors in variables, we can store other things in them as well, such as font sizes. So let's go ahead and do that. So what I wanna do is I wanna store a font size that we're gonna use over and over again in a variable. And it's gonna be a font size of any section H1. So things like that and that, okay? So let's create a variable and call this section heading. And let's set that equal to 24 pixels, just like that, okay? And then if we look in the HTML, every time there is a section like this, we have a H1 beneath it, yeah? And if we have another section, there should be 
a H1 here within this section. So all we need to do to target that H1 is say, oops, take away that hash, section H1. All right, and then we'll say font size is equal to the section heading. And that's gonna grab that variable and replace it with 24 pixels. So we'll save that, check out the styles right here, and you'll see now section H1, font size, 24 pixels, right? And that's targeting this thing right here, as well as this thing right here. So now, if we want to change the font size of our H1s in those sections, we don't need to uh, change it wherever there's a rule for it. All we do is come to the variable and change it right here. So change that to 28, and that's gonna update them all as well. And you'll see that right here, okay? Pretty cool. So I'll change that back to 24 for now. And I'm also gonna give this a color of deep blue, okay? So we've used that other variable again. And now we see we have that color right there. So that's really cool. That's what variables are used for. We can use variables to store things in that we're gonna use over and over so that we don't need to remember those particular sizes or colors or whatever we want to store. And all we need to do is pop in the variable name instead, okay? So we'll be using more variables as we go along through this playlist. That's just like an introduction to them. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those down below. Otherwise guys, I'm gonna see you in the very next tutorial.